every two seconds, okay, that you're distracted, it doubles the risk of an accident. Distracted drivers uh, contribute to 8,000 crashes a day across the nation. That's 8,000. 15 deaths a day and about 1,200 injuries. Those are statistics that are awesome. I want to share an interesting, which is an interesting fact. Last November, a poll was taken of nearly 1,000, 3,000 American adult drivers. These are all the adults. These are not teenager drivers. These are all adult drivers. And I'm going to give you some of the data that obtained from them. About 86% of the drivers admitting to eating or drinking. One third of the drivers admitted they texted while driving at least once. And nearly one in five say they make a habit of it. 40% say they had changed a GPS. One out of five admitted to combing or styling their hair while driving. 14% said they put makeup while driving. We must find a way to get the message to the public. Folks, this has to stop. Next week is Thanksgiving and December is coming right along the holiday season. And there's a lot of people on the road. There's a lot of people on the parking lot. You'll see them distracted on the phones in the parking lot. They'll go right through a stop sign. We're dispatched to an auto accident. A, a call that we go on all the time. About 15 minutes into the call, a woman came driving through at a high rate of speed, talking on her phone. She lost control and hit me and four other people. She, um, she failed to see all the lights and emergency vehicles that were on scene this morning. She failed to see that there was a lane shift, which caused her to go across a double yellow line, driving into oncoming traffic, and then finally real, realized that it made a hard right turn and plowed right into us. I was airlifted to RMC where I suffered a broken neck, a broken back, a collapsed lung, multiple broken ribs, and a lacerated spleen. I was, couldn't work for nine months. Uh, by the grace of God, I'm here today, and the four other gentlemen that were hit, everybody's alive.